Claremont Lee was a pioneer female landscape architect in the state of Georgia. She began a private practice in 1940 in Savannah. She then was asked to do some historic, as they were calling it, restoration gardens in Savannah. And one of her points was it's not a restoration because the garden is gone, but it is a recreation. And she studied historic plants that were used during this time, parterres and planting patterns. And she did this in a way that was unknown at the time. Savannah um, had these historic squares that were part of the layout of the original Savannah city. And there were squares that had become really places that people didn't want to walk at night. Certainly some of the city leaders decided that the squares were really kind of uh, obnoxious and they were in the way and emergency vehicles wanted to be able to go straight through the squares, not around them. She had several meetings with the leaders of the city and said, what are, are really your issues? And they were saying it takes too much time to go around these squares and the squares have lost their use. And she said, why don't we just change the corners of these squares, keeping the squares and make them rounded so that they almost can go in a circle, which is a much faster way than sharp right angles to go through the squares. And then let's renovate these squares so that they are a pleasant place, so that they are shady and inspirational and places that people would want to sit and enjoy a beautiful afternoon in Savannah or a beautiful evening. So she worked with Millsby Lane and he financed five squares that are still her squares. They are still her design, Warren, Washington, Troop, Green, and Madison are her squares. And if there are huge trees still in those squares, because I was asked this once, were those trees that she planted? No, she worked around those mature live oaks or those mature trees that were in those squares and turned her design to encompass those well-established uh, trees and plants. One of the most famous properties that Claremont Lee did and that has been subject of a lot of controversy has been the garden behind the Julia Gordon Lowe birthplace, which is the headquarters for the Girl Scouts in Savannah. The Girl Scouts have admittedly said that they are not really in the business of being a steward of a historic garden. They are in the business of providing a place for Girl Scouts to visit and they also would like to have a place for Girl Scout ceremonies. And so they have eyed this garden that Claremont Lee designed back in the 50s when the Girl Scouts bought this property. Admittedly, it is not a restoration. It is a garden designed in the manner of the Victorian house. And it was a very intricate parterre with a fountain in the center. We have every kind of documentation to include what plants were planted, how she got Savannah tiles to edge the parterres. We lost Claremont Lee about 15, 17 years ago. And I think because she wasn't so much acknowledged at that time and her landscapes, particularly her public ones, are maybe not being recognized in the 30 or 40 years of 
Claremont Lee's professional life, she did more, I think, to bring awareness to Savannah of what this landscape should look like with this historic architecture that I don't think you could walk through the city of, of downtown Savannah and not touch a Claremontly landscape. 